Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, and welcome to the start of season two as we are kicking off the premiere of our brand new season after the grand finale of the last one that went out with a huge bang. And hello, okie dokie. I like where I spawned in. Although, the, are we in the middle of like radio, blah, radio tower central over here? Do you guys see the amount of radio towers? So, the game world seed that we used to generate this was potato. And, uh, I guess the potato is like a broadcasting agency or something because things are going to hand, but we're kicking off the new season, boys and girls. So welcome one, welcome all. If you want to see the conclusion of the last season, I, there should be a link popping up right around now or it should be something in the comment section. Hello. An eight time scope schematic. Okie dokie. Already doing pretty good in terms of looting. This is nice, but we got some survival we want to do. And after season one, which unfortunately had to end due to catastrophic circumstances, such as an awful glitch that was occurring, we are kicking off a brand new season that we are now a little bit more familiar with Alpha 17, what to expect, what to do, and kind of gives us a little bit of a better idea here in the early game. And hopefully I can avoid the vultures, because if you guys remember last season, the vultures were without a doubt the greatest enemy of my seven days to die career and that is a very long career spanning over like the past five years at this point man that stuff has been absolutely nutty but so if you guys are excited for this new season make sure that you guys are subscribed with that notification bell to stay up to date with it as it comes out and let me know your excitement by hitting that like button and saying so in that comment section so i'd love to hear from you guys what you're most excited for out of this season because this one is going to be a great one i already got a feeling and right now let's just go ahead and get these bed rolls because hopefully the zombies will not catastrophically glitch because that was the worst part and you know we do have a fresh start we got a new area to explore we actually spawned really close to a town right away so i'm just waiting for this bed roll to spawn in so we could go ahead and put it down but uh yeah i'm very excited to be starting off this new season like i'm saying the last one unfortunately had to end due to that but we went out with a huge bang the hardest horde of my career that we had to battle against but dude it, it I, i'm not gonna spoil the outcome all right but it's a great finale episode you guys should definitely check out and hello the crafting of bedroll has been completed. I think it was like part 32 or part 33 of season one, but that's no longer anything that we got to worry about because we are not worrying about a little thing known as season two. And another thing I'm worrying about is hopefully the fact that you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety that only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. Whatever. Okay, that's probably not the type of wood I want to collect. Branches? There we go. There we got the wood. And let's get ourselves a stone axe to begin because the stone axe should be able to help us with a lot of collecting and you know just kind of important jazz like that it does suck that we have restarted with skills but the good news is is that this time around we are no longer going to be subject to level limits that's a big change that happened with the perks over here as you guys could see you don't need to be a certain level to level up one of these attributes instead they just cost more points as you progress so the good news is is if we really want to go after something looking at you hammer and forge all that we got to do is we still need to get the intellect okay oof 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 so the level requirement is enforced on these things though okay small detail i wasn't totally aware of but still good good enough i suppose but as you guys are seeing in that upper right hand corner we do have some plant fibers that we got to collect so just go ahead and continue doing that so we can craft up all the necessary clothing and be kind of good to explore because dude i just the amount of radio towers i'm seeing here is insane like one two three four jesus man this is insanity! Oh my god! <laughs> I've never seen so many in one place. Like, what? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Oh, it disappeared. I think that might just be. No, they reappeared. Dude, how many of these things are there? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I hope that they have good loot because we're going to have a lot of. There's like four up there. We're gonna have a lot of them to be able to loot from. We got a military area up there. We got a couple of things down there. Dude, overall, we're already spawning next to a pretty poppin' place over here, so that already has me pretty excited. But all right, let's go ahead and continue this quest line and just kind of knock out a couple of things that we need. Let's get some marvelous pantalones in addition to a shirt. We'll get some shoes, we'll get some gloves, and finally, we need a hood. We just gotta wait for our crafting queue to uh, clear up one slot and then bada bing bada boom the hood will be ours and we'll just go ahead and start wearing those 
as they enter our inventory because that's going to be the next quest that the game does require out of us but if in case you guys are new to seven days to die and haven't had a chance maybe like you're just joining us here for season two uh well long story short it's a survival game that's actually voxel based so it's kind of block based uh, well, it's kind of hard to demonstrate because uh, this thing isn't really good at breaking blocks. But you guys can see, like, it's all block-based and stuff. Even the dirt is block-based. So there's a lot of customization and a lot of freedom in what goes down here. And especially the base building. That is probably where the most freedom is present. There's obviously the quest system that was added in Alpha 17. And the big thing I'm crossing my fingers for is that hopefully we have a settlement a little bit closer to spawn this time around. Because last time around, we had to go a long way away to find a settlement, which is not only where we could trade, but also where we, we will be getting our quests from. And I think after a certain point, the quest line that we're doing right now, which is kind of like a basic tutorial to the game, pretty much, it should point us in the direction of the... I, I don't know if it's the closest. It might be the closest. It should point us in the direction of one such outpost that we'll be able to go to, and that will be super central in not just the ecosystem of the game, because that's where we're going to be doing a lot of our trading and stuff, but also for getting the quests, because quests are going to be a huge way for us to level up, and in Alpha 17, leveling up became a very big thing that you should focus on, because leveling up is how you acquire skill points to then invest into your perks, which is kind of what we're going to be in the midst of doing. We gotta find ourselves some feathers, so if we could just find some bird's nests somewhere around here. Hey, speak of the devil. What up, birdie bird? Thank you for that. And pick ourselves up a couple of small stones. And let's craft ourselves a bow and arrow. Something that will be treating us very well in the early game, especially if we could actually do kind of decent with these arrows, land some headshots, maybe invest into like some bow and arrow perks, stuff like that, because that's pretty much gonna be our only ranged weapon until we come across a gun. And I'm not seeing a gun store we could loot nearby. So that is something that we do need to keep our eyes peeled upon as well. But I'm very excited to be starting out this new season, man. I, I don't know. Like, I... Ah, uh, something about the fact that we're super warmed up. Because I'm not going to lie. Season 1, we started out a little bit rusty. You know, because we were like... It was a couple month break between Alpha 16. Because we thought Alpha 17 was coming way sooner. And as a direct result of that, I... Especially because Alpha 17 changed a lot of stuff. We're kind of prepared for the changes that it brought. And we kind of know how to handle them properly. Is that a snake? Oh, no, no, no. Don't be snake. Don't be snake. I don't like snake. I just don't like the animals in this game. You know, I'm a, I'm a big animal guy. Animals are cool. All the animals in here are like zombified. They're like wolves. And wolves will attack us in this game. Although, woohoo, where's that snake? I don't know. Oh, there he is. Slithering. I see you, KD. I see you, Kevin Durant. No worries. Don't think you could escape my watchful eye. We just gotta get ourselves like two more wood. And we'll be able to knock out this quest. We should be pretty close to getting this kind of like initial quest line done. Which is kind of just the main thing that I'm hoping to do. Because then we have a lot more freedom. And like I'm saying, it should point us in the direction of that closest outpost. Which is really the main thing I want to find first and foremost. Let's get ourselves a couple of wooden frames up in here. To go ahead and <laughs> maybe not that many. Let's go with three. There we go. Because we got to use the rest of that wood to actually do some upgrades. And wooden frames are going to be key when it comes to parkour and a couple of other things like that. So I will just put them down and I will upgrade you. I, I'm not going to do anything with you here. This is not where my base is going to be, but I'm just trying to get this quest done. So I don't mind wasting a little bit of wood. And this is my mark on the world that we are leaving. Three blocks, middle of the road. You know what? Once we recover from this apocalypse, maybe... You know what's going to happen? Someone's going to hit that, and they're going to crash their car, and they're going to be like, God dang it, who put that there? And I'll be cackling in the background. <laughs> I don't know why I sound like a witch out of, like, some kind of random cartoon, but that, that I guess I'm going to become a witch, guys. That's how I survive the apocalypse. I will transform into a witch. I'll make a deal with the non-zombified witches to be like, hey, turn me into a witch. Because apparently, I don't know, dude. Could be some witches doing their black magic. Maybe the witches... Maybe they caused this entire apocalypse to occur. You know? Could be. Could be. But all right. 
We just need, I don't know why I'm collecting wood. Wood, just in general, it is a good thing to go ahead and collect. And no worries, things will pick up. Things will get much more exciting right now. We are just kind of like starting out because you do start pretty much at ground zero. You start with nothing in the game and you need to build up to it. In case you guys want to see a little bit closer to what the end game seems like. You know, while, while we're releasing episodes for the seven days to die here. And they should be coming about every other day in case you guys are curious. That's about the rough time frame we're going to be going with to try and get these out. Are those zombie crickets? Is that just the wind? I don't know what that is. I'm spooked. Zombie cicadas? Dude, zombie cicadas would be horrifying, man. You just hear them. I can't make a cicada noise. But you just hear them as they're like approaching you, bro. That'd be horrifying. Thank God that they are not zombified. Let's get a campfire up in here. But yeah, so that in case you guys want some seven days to die to enjoy in the meantime and you haven't already, go ahead and you can binge watch the first season, which has a lot of great moments, a lot of great shenanigans. And what was that over there? It was a giant white pillar in the sky. What's this about? Hello? Okay, nothing. I'm just gonna put my campfire over there. There we go! Woo! Eight out of eight quests completed, as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen. Build a campfire. And we have completed our basic survival quest. Good job, survivor. You have proved to be capable with much potential. We have marked your map with the nearest White River Outpost location, so it is close. And 1.2 kilometers is not too far away. There you will find a trader where you can buy and sell goods and trade stories with one of our friendly citizens and also quests. Welcome aboard, Noah. I have no clue how Noah is communicating with us, but you do you, Noah. Is that is that Noah from YouTube? Is he communicating through rules of survival or something? What up, Noah? How you doing, man? <laughs> All right, though. Uh, so it looks like it's over out east. It's gonna be a little bit of a hike. I think it's worth it, guys, because I, you guys don't understand. The quests are gonna be so important in our early game, and then hopefully the quests kind of like bring us back around this way. But in the meantime, we should kind of start continue collecting a couple of resources. Definitely continue looting as we come across different loot things, and we should be able to. Woo, woo. Hello, Mr. Backpack. Oh, god dang it! Just another club. You know, we should actually equip one of those so we could swing with it as the situation arises, but uh, if we could actually find a road to traverse, eh, roads are pretty likely to have like loot on them, like these scrapped cars and stuff, so I think that ought to play out in our favor. We already checked that one out though, so we'll head on over this way and we'll see what happens. I'm just amazed, dude. There's so many towers. I've never seen anything like it. Like literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I that's absolutely insane, dude. I the potato game seed, in case you guys were wondering, that's the randomly generated seed we used to base the random generation off of. If you guys want something interesting, put potato, man, because it's, it's, that town looks pretty potato-like. We might need to call that Potato Town. Is Potato Town where we should call our home? And also, that's another thing as well that I love to do with the series in case you guys might be new to the channel or the Seven Days to Die series in general. Maybe coming from some other games that we're playing over on the channel. Oh my god, half that house just disappeared. Wowzers. Hey, it just reappeared. I don't know why it's popping in and out like that so much. Hopefully no zombie dogs find us either because I know some of these locations can spawn in. Zombie dogs and I hate zombie dogs, man. I'm not prepared to deal with that type of stuff. What is going on? Is that where we're gonna place it? Do you guys see that giant pillar in the sky? Oh, it's kind of like a giant cube. I see what it is. Okay. Yeah, there's like one over there one over there. Okay, that makes more sense That's kind of like marking the area that we would have should we choose to put down that land claim block Oh, I think that's the thing that spawns in zombie dogs because we have run into zombie dogs in the past, boys. And it has not been a pleasant experience. Whoop, hello. All right, why don't we go in and get a little bit of target? Oh my God, totally missed that, dude. My power attack is so quick here. Whoop. There we go, let's get some hits off on you. Whoop. Stay down. Hey, already taking dudes down and gaining that EXP. And EXP is gonna be the most important thing here in the early game, like I said, because as we level up, we should be able to become stronger. I heard noises. Hello, zombie nurse. I might kill you. Ooh, hello. Also, bird's nest and stuff will definitely be good to pick up. And we should maybe be trying to harvest some of these uh, yucca plants along the way, too. Which we should just be able to break with a single swing. Feathers. Definitely another big one there. Oh, no, 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 My worst nightmare. I hear you, vulture. 
Get out of here, bro. I don't want it. No, don't do this to me. Boop. Ooh. Dropped you like a light. My god, she was out like a light. In the wise words of Drake or something like that. Um. Okay, the cactus might take a little bit of work to break into. Does, what's the cactus provide us again? I forget. We're getting plant fiber from it. Doesn't it give us something else? Yeah, we get a little bit of yucca out of it too, so... We, we could continue breaking some of these, because Yucca, we also, it is a survival game. We do need to keep our health and our food and our water in check, so all of this Yucca fruit should be a pretty nice early game way of doing that. And I know we can convert it into Yucca juice, which is a little bit more hydrating. And hydration is good, in case you guys have some water nearby, or if you don't, maybe go and get some, because odds are, fun little fact, you're probably dehydrated. Where'd that fact come from? It's like a random fact I remember from high school, I think. But it's not going to hurt you to go ahead and take a sip of that water because staying hydrated is a very important thing. I'm just trying to look out for you guys and gals. Always trying to do some good stuff like that. What is this? Such a random patch. Is it just grass? Yeah, it's just plant fiber. Okay. I know what that is. Doesn't that have like zombie hogs? Listen, I haven't encountered that thing before. I know that's not a friendly area either. But here's the thing, we might need a- Oh, hello there, zombie firmer. How are you doing? A little bit of power attack? That could hit your head? There you go, because this guy's head is going all over the place. Boop! Oh, I totally missed that. Boop! Oh, no. Boop! Jesus. Boop! There we go, dropped him. So it looks like three power attacks with the club should be enough to drop most dudes. Ooh. Is this clay? Or is this sand? This might be clay. Clay? I just want to confirm it's clay before I build a shovel. Okay, maybe I'll just build a shovel anyway. I should be able to craft one, right? And we gotta get some stones. All right, BRB. We gotta collect, ooh, detour. We'll collect from one of these stones. I know these are pretty good. And also, chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums. Dude, I, I'm probably gonna butcher that name. It is, there's a long history. God dang it, this thing needs repairs already. There's a long history of me butchering how to pronounce that god dang red flower. But the chrysanth chrysanthemum? Chrysanthemum? I don't know. We're encumbered? Oh, god dang it. We're collecting too much stuff. That's another thing, too. Until we find steroids or level up our storage slots through a perk, we are kind of uh, out of luck over there as well. So why don't we just break one layer of this so we get the little bonus? Because I think once something completely breaks, there's a bonus associated with it. Hey, and as you guys saw in the bottom right-hand corner, that bonus did just go ahead and count. And then let's get this shovel. And then we got to figure out what to do here because we're already in some trouble. Uh, we could scrap that. I don't think we need that. Can we scrap the land claim block? No, we got to put that down at some point. And this, this one's kind of decent to put down too because everything in its area, I think it like reinforces it too. I know it's more of a multiplayer thing, but you know, it might be all right. Aloe vera leaf can be used to craft a drink on the run and for items with healing properties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. We're probably not getting a crossbow for a minute. So we could scrap that. Same thing with the iron. Consolidate room a little bit. And maybe we can just drop stuff too. We don't really have that much either. Eh. Are we hungry? Maybe we'll eat some food in a bit. Alright though. We got a shovel. Let's put this shovel to use. Is this what I think it is? Is this clay? Ah, uh, it's not clay. Oh, it is clay. Clay and... <coughs> oh my god. A cough. No. Clay and some crushed sand. So clay is going to be really important. Because we need to use it when we get a forge built, which is the big thing that we want to go after. Because once we have a forge constructed, we'll be able to get one of the best in-game materials in the game. At least in terms of compared to what we have right now. Like, there's better. You can get steel. But I'm thinking of iron ingots. And through the use of, like, smelting down iron, like raw iron, scrap iron, that type of stuff. In combination with the clay soil, we should be able to create iron ingots kind of like iron bars and then with those significantly better tools than literally stones on sticks listen i'm not hating on stones on sticks they've saved my butt and it's because of stones on sticks we're able to advance in the first place but stones on sticks as lovely as they are are not the way of the future we gotta move up baby we gotta try and advance technology even though the apocalypse hit i'm still trying to innovate baby I'm trying to put that computer science knowledge to use by upgrading my rocks to metal. The super relative to computer science. I know. Makes absolute sense. No need to tell me twice. And I do want to make my way to this trader before the end of day one. And ooh, I just realized too. Here's the thing. We got to find a place to call home overnight. 
We can't stay at the trader overnight, as nice as that would be for like a day one little thing. So hopefully there's like a house or something we can inhabit and clear out close to this guy. Because if not, we're kind of out of luck in that department too. And that is not going to be good. Let's see if we can maybe see him coming through the brush or something like that. Is that you over there? Maybe. No, but okay. Okay. That might actually be the place that we call home tonight. All right. I'll take what I can get, man. Beggars can't be choosers. And as a day one person who started out naked and is using stones on sticks to try and advance in this world, I think I qualified as a beggar. So I ain't choosing. Whatever this might be. This is a nice little log cabin house. It's got a shed. It's got a fridge. Ooh. <coughs> is that a workbench? What is behind there? Okay. Ah, oh, it's destroyed. Ooh. Okie dokie. We're off to a good start. Bruh. Bruh. Eight forged steel. That is... Uh, yes, sir. That's a yes, sir. And that up there might be what I think it is. But, uh, so remember when I was talking about forged iron, iron bars? Uh, so forged steel is a step up from all that stuff. Now, the problem is we need a workbench to actually be able to craft stuff. And also, we need to level up our perks so we can actually learn the crafting recipes too, I think. But... Uh, the good news is, I think we don't need any perks to repair. So if we get our hands on any steel weapons, maybe from the trader, maybe we could trade some goods to him. I believe there might be a good future for us in that. Okay. 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 I'm liking the way this is going. It also looks like I saw a couple of buildings that way. There might be some stuff over here. Okay, let's go ahead. Hello, Mr. Trader. I'll be over there in just a gif. Gotta drop some zombies dead real quick. You know, my favorite pastime. <gasps> Hello. <laughs> Goodbye to you, monsieur, madame. Boop. 550 EXP. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, what's that? We got another taker? All right. Better, 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 better. Swing. Yeah, that's a... Oh. That is a home run inside the park, baby. And uh, it looks like there's like another town. Okay, here footsteps. I see zombies up here, but it sounds like those footsteps are closer. That might also be because my game volume is way too high. Because seven days to die. It has weird game volume, man. Out of stamina. That's the thing. I gotta watch my stamina more often. I just want to swing, swing, swing. But I forget that power attacks, they're not like a normal swing. This, that's a normal swing. Right? If you guys look in the lower left-hand corner, our stamina continues going up after a normal swing. But a power attack also uses more stamina and... Okay, never mind. Oh, what was that? Does my guy have diarrhea? Nah, he's good. All right, good. I want to deal with diarrhea day one, bro. Day one diarrhea. That is no fun regardless of the situation. I thought I might have seen a town that way. There's not a town over there like I thought. Where's the entrance? Hey, there it is. Oh, wait, so we have the entrance to here. It's like a little doorway. Hello, Mr. Trader. I'll come to you in a sec. Because I know that we might be able to find some pretty, hello, cool things in some of these areas. If we get locked in, that'd be hilarious. Because these are storage units. And we can also loot this place. Hell, god dang it, it's destroyed. That would have been hype if we already had, like, a freaking forge we could use. It wouldn't be ours, but if we built close to this guy, we would have it very nearby. We wouldn't be able to access it at night. God dang it, the cement mixer is destroyed, too. That would help us with creating very powerful defenses and very strong blocks known as cements, which have a lot of health, which is going to be very big because when day seven comes, the horde is coming. And, well, they're going to break through anything they can. Let's freaking go. We got we about to do some chemistry, boy. Um, Can't really do too much, though. Oh, my God. You good there? Sounds like someone's saying me. Well, now they're making a lot of noise. They're disturbing the peace. I thought that might be a workbench for a sec, but that might come in handy as well. But dude, a cement mixer would have been dope. Get out of here, bro. You're not allowed in. I wish these settlements had like turrets or something to mow down the zombies nearby, you know? I feel like that'd only be fitting. All right, Trader Joe. I'm coming over here broke, boy. 
But I do have some stuff. I could potentially... That's only worth 80 total. Are you kidding me right now? What up, Bob? Oh, howdy to you. I've never seen you before, Bob. How you doing? Any jobs by chance? A fetch job, a clear zombie job. So these are different types of jobs as well that we could get. Some of them involve killing zombies. Some of them involve retrieving something. I will take the nearby really fetch job. Friend, and that's why I'm asking you for a helping hand. All right, sure thing there, Bob. Godspeed. If you want to talk like Batman, I can talk like Batman too. Yeah, Godspeed to you too. God dang it. It's all the way over in the southeast corner. Oh, it's going to be annoying. Just like all these freaking zombies attacking the fence. All right, Bob, let's talk trade. What what you got to trade there, buddy boy? All right. I can't afford any of this. God dang it, man. <laughs> All right, enough Batman talk. Uh, not much we could sell. And uh, as you guys can see, it's going to take a lot for us to be able to get enough money to get something decent out of this. But it's a, it's a good thing. We could start stockpiling stuff. We're selling it to him. We could get, like, food if we need. Hydration if we need from him. But the big thing that I'm hoping for... Mm, some kind of weapon, I think. Some kind of weapon or... What is this? The Hunter increases damage to living beings. Interesting. Oh. Oh, hello. I like that. That's a very good weapon mod. Okay. There's a... You got some good stuff over there, Bob. Sure thing, man. I will come back soon. Because I don't want to deal with all these zombies hitting stuff, man. They're so ridiculously loud. Y'all got to calm down, bro. All right. We could also loot up his house. He won't notice. He doesn't mind. Bob's a caring dude. But, uh, dude, I just love his voice, man. It just reminds me of Batman out of, uh, whatchamacall? Bruce Wayne. I'm Batman. No. I'm Batman. I'm Batman, Bob. You're not Batman. I'm Batman. Dude, if we find a pistol or something in one of these toilets, that'd be hype, too. But, uh, oh, okay, man. It is, like... Uh, uh, we might need to come back here, guys. We got priorities, and those involve finding a place to call home in about two hours. So, uh, yeah. See you, zombies, later. Great getting to know you guys. We gotta go to that house over there ASAP. And then we'll make our way over to the barn. And here's the thing. The fetch quests are usually pretty cool because they have you, like, actually go through a certain location, which is kind of like a mini dungeon, so to speak. Because there's like a relative path that you can follow. There's loot along the way and at the end, there's usually a pretty big chest. So the fetch is a pretty good one for us to go to. And we'll also get some stuff we could return that way. I do see some buildings that way to investigate. That might actually be like a little town or something. Because I'm seeing a couple of buildings. But the big thing I'm hoping for, man, we got to get like a... Not a gunsmith bench. We, we got to find like a weapon... A weapon shop. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. A weapon shop would be high key hype. That actually let us hopefully protect ourselves a little bit. So I think that might be our next adventure during the daytime because knocking out these quests is a great way of leveling up, a great way of getting loot, and hopefully a great way of establishing ourselves. And uh, that's what I was talking about too. If we could get some steel tools from my buddy Bob over there, I think what we could do is, uh, whatchamacall, with those steel tools, we should be able to repair them using our forged steel. We can't use our forged steel to craft stuff for a long time, probably. But it might come in handy for repairs. And I will take that, man. I will take that over nothing. And hello, wakey, wakey. Papa Star is in the building. I got to clear out this entire house. Ow. Okay, at least I'm not bleeding. That could have been bad. Yeah, we got to clear out this house over here before uh, we decide to make it home. Okay, boop. You want to die? She does not want to die, man. It is getting darker and darker, too. I do not like this. Boop. There you go. Thought she blows, laddie. Let's get a big hit on. Boop. There we go. Come on. I always forget how much stamina you need exactly to take these people down. Uh, so we still got a little bit of time here. Objective number one. Kill all zombies. I'll... Woo! Woo! Sounds like angry zombie. Where are you, angry zombie? Woo! Upstairs? Maybe? Oh, hello. There you are. Woo! Oh my god, you're hopping around too. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. Yeah, jump around. This might have something behind. Nope, didn't have anything behind it. Just me desecrating stuff. Okay. Oh, they're coming in from the rooms too. We got another hour though. I think that's a good game plan. We got to clear this place out. Maybe barricade the door. Oh my god, there's more. All right. Well, at least they're coming in an orderly fashion. And there's not too much to this place. There you go. Drop dead one. Ooh. 
We gotta watch out for that crawler, man. He's lurking. He's lurking down below. I see you, boy. I see you. Okay, please. Woo, 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 woo. Almost got stuck on that table. That could've been bad. Do I hear things outside? Oh, don't tell me there's people outside. No, no, no. I got enough people to deal with here. Let's, uh, let me just invest in the gate. Cause it sounds like they're walking on dirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I don't know. We just gotta clear out as much as we can. We definitely got to. I'm gonna kill you real quick. Hope that's cool. All right, cool. Because you died. Uh, we wanna get, can I get some wood frames popping off? Wood frame, 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 frame. Uh, honestly, maybe like four of them. Hopefully that leaves us enough wood to do some upgrades. Uh, uh, I'll chop down this tree over here really quickly. Because at 2200 hours, 10 p.m., that is when the zombies become a lot more dangerous. That is when all of them start to run. Dealing with running zombies is not fun when you are hitting them with a wooden club. And you are pretty much naked. I am covered in grass. Literally covered in grass right now, guys. But if we could barricade up that door, we should be okay. We got a little campfire here for some light. I have no clue where this crawler is, though, which I am a little bit spooked by. Mr. Crawler, where did you go back to? Uh, well, oh, hello. I knew you were chilling. You just want to die there? There you go. He dropped dead pretty quick. Is there like a second floor in here? There is. Okay. On well, about 20 minutes, things are going to hit the fan. So please, we got to kill the rest of the people here. Whoop. There we go. Please die. Just die a little bit quicker. Please, please. I don't have the stamina for this. And I can barely see. You guys should be able to see. Oh, no. Ambush. Ambush. You guys should be, see be able to see better than me. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. We only have 10 minutes before these guys go way too ham on us. I don't like this. There's still more rooms. This is not going well. Guys, this is not going well. We might just need to barricade the upstairs, too. Woo, woo. Please hit. Okay, there we go. We killed that guy over there. This person's about to start sprinting. I can't see a goddamn thing, Bobby. Okay, he dropped dead too. I I think what we did. Let's let's. Okay, we gotta start sneaking. We gotta start sneaking. I I hear footsteps. Oh, mama. Okay. Whoop. I think that's where they would come from. So I'm just going to barricade that. If we die, we die. But what more suspenseful of a place to end off the very first episode of Seven Days to Die, Alpha 17 Season 2. So that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode. I hope that you guys did enjoy and hope you guys are prepared for a super dope season filled with a lot of thrills. Because already episode one, we're hitting you with the hit cliffhanger, baby. Sorry to do you like that, but... It's going to be good. Hope you guys are excited. Hopefully this time the zombies don't glitch and we can continue going to the end game and fortifying our base beyond just basic traps, hooking it up with electricity, getting turrets and all this stuff and electricity and like blade traps and so much jazz hooked up in addition to like a lot more of the more advanced modifications and new blueprints put into the game that's just going to require higher levels for us to knock out. So I'm looking forward to it and hopefully you guys are as well. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. For me, for now, thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Huh, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.